Hello, I'm Sally Barnes and I'm the Director of National Parks for the Commonwealth Government. I've just released draft management plans for the um, marine parks in, Austra in Commonwealth waters, for the Australian marine parks, um, outlining how the team at Parks Australia and I plan to manage the marine parks over the next 10 years and I'm really keen to get your views on our approach. I'm here in Hobart, management team for marine planning is based here and it's very appropriate because Tasmania is such a fantastic maritime centre and in fact we've been managing marine parks off Tasmania in Commonwealth waters for a number of years now and learnt lots of things about how to do the, our business. I thought what I'd do today is give you a bit of um, insight into what I've been hearing from people as we've been preparing the plans and explain our approach in the draft management plans before you read them. As we've been talking to people around the country and, and based on, on submissions and consultations, what is really clear is that everyone loves the marine environment, loves the oceans and wants to protect both the plants and animals in, those, in the oceans. It's fair to say there's slightly differing views about how we can do that. Um, with, with people who live in regional areas, very much connected to the ocean as part of who they are, their identity, their sense of place, and people in those regional areas wanting to be custodians of the oceans with us, but also looking to us to make sure that that the way we manage the marine parks means that the communities are healthy and vibrant, that their children have jobs, and there's opportunities there for tourism, opportunities there for, for fishing, and, and for viable and sustainable fishing and export businesses. When it comes to people who don't live quite as close or aren't as immersed in the ocean every day, um, there's a slight, there could be a slightly different view. Um, not all the time, but there is a slightly different view that protect, perhaps the best way to protect these places is to restrict access in general and to make large areas unavailable for use. If we did that, what we'd be doing is, is affecting viable fishing the viable fishing industries, export businesses, we'd be having large impact on tourism. And at Parks Australia, we don't think that's particularly good for regional communities, nor for marine parks in the longer term, because marine parks need to be embraced by the community. They need to be somewhere where people can continue to enjoy them and continue to make a living. These are large, large areas at way out from shore where we think we can have our cake and eat it too, or in this case, our fish and eat it too. So what we've done is we've used um, a technique called zoning where we've looked carefully at the very high conservation values, we've looked carefully at the features in the marine parks that are um, need high levels of protection and we've looked at other areas where we can protect the seafloor but also then allow activities in the water column. We've put a video on this website as well that explains that zoning approach. We think that by doing that zoning, that zoning approach and using the best available science and input from the independent review and from the submissions and also taking into account what we've learnt from managing the marine park around here in Tasmania and discussions we've had with other um, marine park managers around the world. We think our approach gets the balance right but, but please don't just take my word for it. Please go and have a look at those draft plans, see what they mean for you, your families, see if you think we've got the right level of protection in the right places and, and provide feedback to me. Of course, if there's anything you'd like clarified before you sub put a submission in, please get in contact with the team at Parks Australia. They'd be more than happy to come and meet with you or, or talk to you and explain what actually, what it means in the management plan. So, as I said, please get involved. Um, marine parks are wonderful, wonderful assets for the country. The marine park area around Australia in the Commonwealth waters at the moment is 36% of the ocean, so we really need to get management for the next 10 years right. But also, please work with us in the future to make sure that, that these assets are here for future generations, but also contribute to the Australia's well-being, both its economic well-being, cultural and social well-being, as well as environmental well-being. Thank you.